everybody. So as you can see, this is basically what um, a very basic, basic toolkit. This is what where I work now um, kind of wants. Um, they have um, a toolbox kit. This isn't it, but they have a toolbox, a 19-inch toolbox that comes with a bunch of tools, sort of like this. But you pay 75 bucks for it. Um, I didn't. I've seen the toolbox with another driver. I didn't like it. So since I was home, I have all my own tons of tools. And when I say tons, I got like repetitive of everything. So anyway, first off, I've got a 18-inch uh, toolbox here. Um, basically, nothing special. Just 18 inches, you know, two-level toolbox stuff I can store up top. You know, um, I they say that. A tire gauge. I got to get that at a truck stop, but I will have a tire gauge in here. Um, they want you to have a utility knife. That was like a couple of bucks, um, probably just for cutting stuff if you ever need it. But they're, you know, a utility knife. They said they wanted they give they give you a 20 ounce framing hammer. I don't like the framing hammer framing hammer because if you swing it wrong, you're going to get the claw into something. So I have a two and a half pound sledge I've had for about four years. I've used it on my other truck, um, so I go with that. Um, some adjustable wrenches. Um, I have a six inch and an eight inch here, um, but they say they want an eight and a ten. Um, you know, that's fine and dandy. But if you're really grabbing something that's between eight and ten inches, you're you're playing with stuff that you shouldn't be playing with on the truck. Of course, screwdrivers, flatheads, and Phillips. Um, you know, you got pliers. I got a slip joint here. Got another slip joint here. These are the Robo Grip ones that self-adjust when you use them. Um, basically, uh, let's see, of course, like I said, screwdrivers. I have a Maglite flashlight that's not in this picture, but I have it. Um, then there's a six-piece combination wrench set. They say they want three-eighths through three-quarters, and that's what this was. I bought these brand new um, from uh, from Lowe's, these were uh, like eight bucks for this small set, um, and then uh, let's see what else was there. They wanted a ratchet, a four-piece ratchet drive set, a three-eighths inch ratchet. I've got two of those here that are mine. Um, a couple of extensions. I got the extensions, and then they said they wanted a nine-piece driver so socket set. Um, their sizes they wanted were seven. Uh, 7 16 through 7 8 again um, I had this 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 but I bought new here minus my just my, my special one there but I bought all new sockets for about eight ten dollars I wanted new if I'm gonna lose them I'd rather have new ones for the truck um, and then the Torx set the T series um, to get the T 8 through T 40 I know I seen what theirs look like um, I already had a couple of the bigger ones so I had to go out and buy uh, the new small, a small just to get a T8. Um, you're talking multiple, you know, different things you're going to use them on. Um, but I also have uh, my own wire cutters. Sometimes you never know if you got to change out a connection on, a, on some wiring. I also have uh, heat shrink uh, tubing. Again, you play with wiring, heat shrink, good way to at least get it fixed to get it back to the shop. Um, I have a multi tool here, you know, pliers and everything else. Always carry electrical tape, of course a lighter. This is a screwdriver also, but it's got a couple different bits. I keep this one in the truck. Here's my stat rat. We'll talk about this one. I'll put a link to this one when I do a video. But this is my stat rat. This is my favorite, most expensive tool in this kit. But I tell you what, when I have used it in the past, and when I do decide to use it, I'll show you, and it'll save me a ton of time. But basically, this is what they want you to have for tools. In your truck, so you can save time on certain things like, like light bulb change outs and stuff like that. Also, I keep some bungees. Um, I keep bungees, a couple of short ones, uh, so when I'm fueling, I can hook over the top of the uh, fuel nozzle so that it doesn't pop out. A lot of guys, you'll see, set them in there and they'll walk around, and the damn thing will pop out. A um, couple of cheap bungees, real quick. You just use them, keep them, you know, bungee to your catwalk or whatever, or in your side box, you know. And you just bungee your fuel line down, and uh, you know you can go from there. Um, screwdrivers are good for pulling, uh, you know, the little plastic seals between the airlines. Um, me, I have a ton of 
you know, shop rags, you know, that I keep around for different things. Zip ties, always a good one to have. Um, I have a nut and bolt set um, that's not included. I like that because for changing out lights, for the company I used to work for, we used to have to nut and bolt our lights together. Now, where I'm at, it's, uh, they pop in. Fuses, these are for my CB, but fuses in general. Um, find out what size bus fuses, the minis or the, the maxis or whatever, um, and uh, go from there. But in general, this is the basic kit, and for what I did buy um, myself to replace, the, between the toolbox, which I've got a ton, but I always like a new one, um, a utility knife, which was three bucks, um, the T, the T uh, bits, and all that. I spent on what I added to this by my own choice. I only spent about 48 bucks. But the thing is, this whole kit will fit in here. Well, minus this and some of this. But this will be in my truck if I need it. You know, like I said, I want the stubbies because it's just I'm not going to spend the money on the long ones when the stubbies will work. And if I use them at all, I still have them. You know, so this is my tool kit for my truck. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but this is what I have, this is what I carry. Um, and then of course I keep a small tote uh, like this uh, to put fluids in. So like with my washer fluid, my coolant, stuff like that. I can set them up right in here so if they do leak, they're already in a plastic tote. This is only a couple of bucks. So this is my toolkit and uh, thanks for watching. That's basically um, my little excerpt for today, uh, just a side video. And then, uh, like I said, when we get to the stat rat, I'll do a side video with that, and we'll go from there. But thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm Cheeto, and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?